what's up guys what's up welcome once again to another video um thanks as usual for tuning in guys and um you know let, as always let me remind let me um you know tell you guys how appreciative i am you know for you to take time out to to tune into another video all right and also to you know remind you guys to like the video share the video subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell all right guys so um guys this this video that i'm that i'm coming with right um today it's about this man that was um in police custody and his name is randy cox uh, 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 you know I'm, i would imagine that a lot of you have heard about this this case um where this man was arrested and put in handcuff placed in the back of a police van that didn't have any any seat belts right so you know the man is now paralyzed as a result and i'm gonna get into all the details soon but um let us let us look at some of this video before some more of this video before we go along all right guys Oh, no day. Yeah, slide down on there. No day. Yeah, slide down so you can get out of here. Yup, look. If you gotta drive me, do it's got to. Alright, alright. 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 Al
that you're going to put people in in handcuffs and it doesn't have a seat belt right and we all know what can happen there you know the man could have died even though you know he's paralyzed now and stuff but you know worse of all he could have lost his life so a vehicle like that should never 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 be allowed to take prisoners or take people into custody without seat belts right any little move is going to be you know flying all over the place as we have seen so many times right so justice for randy justice for randy justice for randy the crowd chanted during a rally held in new haven tuesday and cox's legal team is crump the attorney who represented george floyd's family he joined the 36 year old legal team and family in new haven providing an update on his health condition crump said Cox is paralyzed because of the actions and inactions taken by the New Haven Police Department while he was being transported in a detention van. Why didn't the New Haven police officers believe Randy Cox when he said, I can't move? Why did they mock him? Why did they say, you are not even trying? Why didn't, felt these fo- um, why didn't they follow the policies when he stopped and he said, I can't move, Crump said. Crump is asking the police department to release all evidence and further information regarding police policies within the department. Mayor Justin Elika held a news conference just moments after saying they have released all footage from the incident and are working to be transparent. The entire body came from officer Oscar Diaz from when he started driving the vehicle to the detention center. If there is any other information that comes available to us, we prioritize transparency because it is the right thing to do and we think it's very, very important that we release information, Elika said. Five police officers have been placed on paid leave while an investigation is conducted into their actions following the incident. So guys, what do you think? Uh, um, I want you guys to comment and let me know what you think about this particular sentence right here. Five police officers have been placed on paid leave while an investigation is conducted into their actions following the incident. You know, I'm, I always think, this is my personal view now. I always think, um, you know, when incidents like these happen, I know it's under investigation and stuff like this, but, you know, I paid and leave our desk duty and stuff like that. Paid, you know, they are getting paid while, 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 you know, they kill people, injure people, you know, um, people um, are paralyzed because of their actions. And as the article said, inactions. You know what I mean? So, do you do any of you guys think you know police officers when incident like these happen they should withdraw their their pay until the investigation is 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 um is complete and we and we know exactly what happened. So if they're if they're not held accountable, they can get uh, definitely get their pays back. Or if they are held accountable, they shouldn't get one dime. That's my opinion right anyway let's continue acting police chief regina rush kittle said it appeared some officers did not follow department protocols in handling an injured person who is in custody diaz who was driving the van did not follow department policy that requires officers to call for medical assistance and wait for paramedics when someone is in distress in a police vehicle according to assistant chief carl jacobson and guys, um, this this part here, um, in the first place, as I said before, they shouldn't even be using that kind of vehicle to transport anybody, especially someone that is placed in handcuffs. What about calling for a squad car or, or, or an SUV or whatever the vehicle is, but something that the person can be placed, you know, like a human being and, um, and, and in seat belts, right? So, because um, you know, I, I, I in in an, in another video that I watched about with the incident, they said the officer 
um, had to slam on the brakes. In this, they say he had to swerve or something like that to avoid an accident. But we all see, we all see the the way he slid and hit his head in the in the in the the van, right? And that really definitely looks like a, 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 he had to, the person driving had to take make you know hit the brake suddenly. You know what I mean? Anyway, so body cam body camera video from several officers show Cox telling the officers at the detention facility that they, that he couldn't move. And you know we all see the way is 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 Ed, you know like is Ed from from you watch a video guys, you know you could see the way his Ed is moving, you know you realize that um, something is definitely wrong, right? And you know these are grown 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 men. Th that one that was dragging him, that man I would if I should guess I would say he looks about, you know somebody is in his in his maybe late forties late in our fifties, you know what I mean? So I mean, they should. It's, the age doesn't even matter, guys. But I'm just saying, you know, they should know better than that. And after all these other incidents over the years, um, you would have thought they would learn from all of those, right? Okay. So officers placed him into a wheelchair and pulled him up when he slumped over. The video showed. Cox was placed in a holding cell after paramedic arrived to provide medical care. And this article should have said he was dragged into a holding cell before the paramedics arrived. Diaz was placed on paid leave, as were Sergeant Betsy Sigu, Officer Ronald Presley, Officer Jocelyn Lavender, and Officer Louise Rivera, who all worked at the detention facility and were involved in handling Cox. So guys, you know, there you see, um, you know, everyone, every one of these police officers, you know, made the same mistake over and over, right? With mishandling, you know what I mean? And their acts, their actions, you know, caused this man to 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 be paralyzed right now, you know, on feeding tube because of their actions. And it started from the get-go where they placed him in the van without seatbelts, right? When are these when are these officers gonna be? Um, when are they gonna learn? You know that. You know, because, not because you arrest someone for whatever crime they commit or whatever it is doesn't mean that you should handle them like they're you know they're animals or or, or something like that. You know, they're human beings, just the same, regardless of the crime they commit. You know what I mean? So, you know, we'll be following this case to see um, what is going to take place here, uh, what what the, the, you know, the accountability, how it's going to turn out. So, guys, uh, thanks again for tuning in, you know, and um, as always, please remember to like the video, share the video, hit that notification bell, guys. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also, guys, please comment. Comment, 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 and let, let us know, you know, what you guys think and, you know, have a conversation about this. All right, guys? So, blessed love. Peace. Hey.